new century has begun, and the cold season is upon us. The killer of light is around us. We begin with a killer the police could not find. Victims left in a tunnel without ever reaching the light, or dropped at a construction site, never to breathe again. A man cutting down on random victims, a hunter like no other, burning every life around him. With the killer growing more fierce and the slain becoming younger, the new century has found its hero. The century, cold killer, is identified. Life in a prison without bars, or death and strangled hero. This is the light in shadows. Evidence proves the crime, but not the punishment. Judgment is up for debate once again. In the end, they called me a hero. A hero of God. If this tale should begin with the day my wife left me, with our child and my income, or the day my place of work ceased to exist, I do not know. But begin it did. The story is composed by other people, witnesses and police reports, for in truth I do not recollect a great deal myself. I woke to the ending. It had been a bad day. Once again, I sought refuge in the clear bottles, emptying them, only to fill them again with sorrow and self-pity. I put away a lot of flammable liquid. A man walked peacefully by. He looked peaceful. He was a guy like any other. By accident, I walked in his way. That is what they tell me. At first, he tried to ignore me and move on. He even said he was sorry. But I pulled on his jacket and stepped on his shoes. Nobody tried to stop me that day. Nobody intervened. Usually. All the other times, at least somebody tried to stop me. He tried to flee, and I tried to knock him to the ground. I landed the first punch. But he had sufficient to give in return. It was a one-way fight. Tried to hit him, but missed. He did not. A hero, fighting the way of cowards. He straightened his jacket on the reflective surface of a darkened window. From his jacket fell a modern-day battle axe. All I wanted was to stop him. And they called me a hero. I woke in a cage little recollection of the day before, knowing only that the Grim Reaper was near. I had a sense that my stay in that dark cell would be without end. They did not even charge me. One and all smiled and sent me joyful judgment, their happy voices deafening applause ringing in my ears. The man was no longer on God's radar, silent, like his victims. The dead man 
I killed for more than a century. Each time with a weapon. Each time a new kind of victim. But no policeman, though hard they tried, was ever able to find the killer. The killer had found a new target. One of the bullets I used had a name on it. But I spent every one of them on a single man. They called me a hero of God. I had saved an unknown man. And for that, I was acknowledged. To my mind, I was honored for becoming a murderer. As one of God's heroes, I went to look for his voice. He told me that it was the hand of God which had led me, that God was in control. The first ray of sunlight hit me, and I just felt happy to know that there was a plan amongst the chaos. The warmth of the sun refreshed me once again. Point to the madness. But ten seconds was all I was given. If God wanted me there, then God had to make me drink. To get me to empty the poisonous bottles, he took away my wife. Just when did I become a part of God's plan? I asked voice of God. That was my mission in life. And the priest answered, God moves in mysterious ways. He died from the first bullet. But I kept pulling the trigger until the empty sound was the only thing left. Then I kicked him. Four minutes, or felt like four hours, before the police arrived and stopped me. I am a killer who cannot be punished, for I am a hero of God. I'm just a tool. God's executioner. Not a line of work I ever wanted. In the absence of God's hand, I walked alone. Everyone's hero. Life in a prison without bars, or death and strangled hero. This is the light in shadows. Evidence proves the crime, but not the punishment. Judgment is up for debate once again.